Wago's top job series sensor actuator terminal blocks save valuable space along the DIN rail while at the same time making it easier to terminate and troubleshoot your sensors and actuators. In addition, Wago offers multifunctional color coded jump ring, LED status indication on both the supply and signal blocks, testing options, as well as the proven technology of push in cage clamp reliability. So here we have a setup with the standard Top Job Series terminal blocks, Top Job sensor blocks, a Wago PLC, Top Job actuator blocks, and some relays along with two prop sensors. So with this setup, what I want to illustrate is the terminal block options for let's say 10 sensors, proximity sensors for example. And you can see that it's possible to use the standard Top Job Series blocks as a sensor block solution. Um, although you notice it takes a good deal more rail space than the Top Job Series sensors blocks, as well as it can be more labor intensive with a mounting of 30 terminal blocks and 18 stagger jumpers which the user would have to be careful with when aligning the jumpers for the plus and minus supply uh, to the sensors themselves. So with the top job series sensor blocks however you have one supply terminal here and then you have five sensor blocks where two sensors can be independently wired on each block. So immediately you can see that the standard top job series terminals take up approximately 157 millimeters while the top job series sensor blocks only take up about 43 millimeters. Also you'll notice how much easier it is to utilize the jumpers for the sensor blocks. There are only two jumper types here for the color coding uh, jumpers for the power, so for your plus and minus. Um, so you can easily just see how it's pushed in across the single plane here, no stagger jumpering, no worrying about whether or not you aligned everything properly. You simply place it where it belongs. Another feature is the power supply terminal has an LED indicator on it. So you can see immediately that power pre is present on the entire right here or block of sensors uh, for this application. Here we get no indication whatsoever for the power being present. So if we look at this, you know, from a troubleshooting standpoint out in the field, for example, um, so we have our sensor coming into our terminals. We have uh, that going from the terminals, of course, to our PLC. And if we look just at the standard series blocks here, we can see, okay, we're going to energize this circuit here. We have an input coming into the PLC, and that's great. But other than the prox and their sensor giving us an indication, there's no indication on the terminal blocks whatsoever. So there's no visible, okay, the sensor, the signal is present here through the terminal block. So um, we go over to now the top job series sensor block and you can see we get a quick indication whether or not the signal is present. So that's a great troubleshooting aid where we can split the circuit, look at it and go okay if the sensor signal is present from here to the prop sensor then we know that part of the circuit is good and if it wasn't present from let's say here we look at the PLC and there wasn't a signal input coming in then we would know that there's a problem between the two, or it could be a problem with the I.O. module, for example. But we're troubleshooting here, and the key is we don't have a meter or anything. We just get a quick visual about where the circuit's at. You know, we like to split the circuit so we can figure out which side we need to troubleshoot on. <clears throat> so, again, a lot of benefits there from the troubleshooting standpoint, the quick visual, and so forth. Another thing that's really nice about these, regardless of which series you use, actually, is the extensive marking on here. So we can put marking on here real easy, these strips that you can print out and just place right on the terminals themselves. So you can have your plus and minus and signal indicated on here, as well as on here the signal level here, and of course your plus and minus down here with your jumpers and all that. But the indicator the indications on here for which sensor, for which part of the machine, um, and you know where it's being applied and used. Um, you can also do the same thing with the actuator blocks. So again, you saw before where we had a signal coming in um, and then energizing the circuits here to the uh, jump flex relays. Uh, again, you see the signal here, but you also see on the actuator blocks when it's being energized. So we get another clear indication, not just on the sensor side, but the actuator side, 
where we have clear indication whether or not the um, circuit is energized. Um, if we, again, split this circuit, we see it's energized here, but for some reason the relay is not um, uh, energizing or turning on, then we could come down and look at this. Maybe it's a broken wire, a faulty relay, whatever the case may be. But we get a quick visual again by splitting that circuit up. <clears throat> so a lot of benefits for using these types of terminals, terminals the actuator sensor blocks, Again, you can see again the clear marking here for the um, actual sensor or the actuator block itself. So the space savings, of course, is key. Talked about that. The huge difference here, amount of labor required to mount all these terminals and the relays and so forth. Uh, the proven push-in style cage clamp connections. The troubleshooting aid, again, for splitting the circuit. The multifunctional color-coded jumpers on here, easy to apply and use, and color-coded again to see where it actually needs to be placed on here so it's uh, terminated properly. The LED status again on here for power, so we know the whole entire bank has power, and then of course the signal coming in. And then there's several testing options as well. As you can see, the Top Jot Series sensor actuator terminal blocks offer greater flexibility and reliability when terminating your sensors and actuators within the control system. The many benefits include space savings, proven push-in cage clamp technology, multifunctional color-coded jumpering, LED status for power and signals to help with troubleshooting, as well as many testing options. Thank you.